so in this video we will learn about another react native element it's called basis let me just show you this one uh, you are seeing this ones are badges these all these are extremely helpful to communicate a message uh, this type of dots uh, uh, are called mini badges it's uh, it's usually used for uh, warning or if uh, action get succeed then you can use that you can also use this type of badges as an indicator this badge is so that this person is online. This type of badge is so that uh, we got 200 message from this person. And there are multiple use of that. So in this video, we will see how you can integrate those badges in your React Native project. So create a React Native project and open it on Visual Studio Code. And I already opened the iOS simulator. If you are using Windows machine, you can use the Android emulator also. So first of all, you need to import the necessary component. First we need is an avatar. And then badge. From React Native Elements. You need to uh, install this on your project. Okay, so first of all, let me just show you the simple mini badges. You can simply provide the status. There are four different type of status. Primary, success, warning and error. Let me go with the success one. Let me just save this. As you can see, this little green dot here indicates the success. You can also use this green dot as an person online. Let me just grab this and paste it four times. This one is error. Primary. Warning. So this is how many badges look. You can use these uh, to show if the person is online, if you got any alert or any type of warnings. It grabs the us user attention much fa faster. Now let me use this with, uh, with an avatar. In create a view. let me use rounded source uri now we need a picture let me just go to the end flash search for people We can grab any of those. Let me grab this one. Paste it over here. We can provide size also here. Let's say large. Now it's time to provide a badge. Status will be success. Now to provide styling. We need to use container style. Let's provide position to absolute. Let me provide the position.
as you can see this type of uh, with this type of badge we can show that this badge right this person right here is online or offline you can use these uh, you can use multiple of these error success primary and warning we can use this type of badge over here we can also use this as a dnd do not disturb we can also provide the value over here let's let me provide some value let's say 12 it shows that uh, we have 12 messages from this person we which are not yet uh, readed we can also use state over here so if you if you are building a chat application or mail application uh, you can use these uh, uh, badges set message use 10 let's say 10 and we can use this value over here As you can see, to show that we have received 10 messages from this person and they are uh, yet unreaded. So basically, uh, this type of pages uh, usually used with the type of applications like chat applications, emails, um, uh, any type of uh, warnings, alert messages, you can use, use these badges over there and when this series is over we'll be starting a project based series where we'll be creating a chat application from scratch and we'll be using these badges and avatar over there so thanks for watching